Now I want to talk about inward ego and outward ego. Your inward ego, it's the power you have internally, is quite literally so powerful that it's like it flips reality inside out. When you go more in, the more the out is completely created by you. So your good ego is quite simply your ego that rules, and it can rule you if you're not careful. Now, there's nothing wrong with having an ego. Just make sure your good ego is real. Now, this is not about being egotistical. It's about having a healthy confidence in yourself and your actions so that you can achieve a greater good. A negative outward facing ego can show up as an unrealistic view of yourself and if left unchecked can result in obstacles and bad things showing up in your life. Whereas a good ego faced inward can turn into a deep sense of drive and drive when controlled in with balance can lead to phenomenal success. Your good ego is the mind power that helps you project yourself and your desires. As Napoleon Hill expressed, think of your ego as an invisible part of yourself, which makes you strong and resourceful or puts obstacles in your way according to the sort of influence you feed it. And that is extremely important for you to understand because the way you reflect on the outside world, the way you make yourself look to other people, using that, showing people how awesome you are externally, can, yes, it can lead to great business, it can lead to awesome things. Don't get me wrong, it can, it can make a lot of things happen, but you're making it happen for the wrong reason, and it will, it will leave you empty inside. Trust me, I've done it in my life. I've bought the Ferrari, I've bought the expensive watches, I've done everything that I needed to get, you know, even in previous relationships, I would go out and actually get relationships in my life according to what I wanted to feel like I wanted to be externally. And only then did I realize when I got everything I've ever wanted that I didn't want this. And I had to take a re-look at who I was internally. So how is your ego showing up in the world? It's time for a reality check. You see, it's good to have a baseline of where you're starting from. Really digging into the truth of how you show up outward and inward will go a long way towards getting to the essence of your innermost self and what will make you truly happy. Here's a little two-part exercise I like to do called the two-way mirror and it helps keep me humble. The reason I call it this is because it's a way to look inward at your innermost self that you might be hiding away, ignoring, or just plain not being honest with. To top it off, and this is the tougher part of the exercise, it will give you an opportunity to face your current ego reality. Kind of like how you're coming off or outside of yourself, right? And you'll see through the other side of the mirror, kind of like a two-way mirror. It's pretty cool. So the two-way mirror starts like this. Here's one side of the mirror. Did you ever hear, if something is bothering you about someone else, take a good look at yourself in the mirror? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to have you do. Take a minute to think of someone who bugs the crap out of you. Seriously, bugs the living crap out of you. Now, there's no need to name names. Just write it down in your project book. What is it that's killing you about that person? Once that's written down, ask yourself, how do I do that to other people around me or project that into the universe myself? You may want to kid yourself into thinking this isn't a part of you. However, when you pick up on a negative trait in someone else in your life or around you, you can bet that same exact trait is within you as well. Otherwise, you would have never seen it in the first place. Next, it's true grit time. And this is the other side of the mirror. Think about someone in your life that you are seriously close to, a best friend, a family member, someone you trust. Okay, got it? Well, I want you to get in touch with that person, mano y mano, face to face. You can even do this on Skype if they aren't close to you. But it's really important that you reach out to this person where you can see each other. Now, I want you to ask them to be brutally honest with you. Yep, this is the true grit part. How does your negative ego show up? This may be hard for you to hear, but the sooner you come to terms, 
on how your negative ego shows up in your life, the sooner you can start feeding your good ego what it needs to thrive. Don't forget to write down your observations and your thoughts inside your project book.